uh, within 20 minutes now we will go into i think 20 to 30 minutes now we will go into and all and then next one is uh, what we need to do here okay right see we will going to discuss about the uh, i mean uh, we will going to discuss about the accounts payables business partner master data and vendor master data creations uh, in sap s4 hana okay um, now what we need to do here is okay so i think i have already shared you the uh, document i think so okay can you close this thing once again this thing down hmm. close that button okay right so i think i have shared you the uh, document also and uh, can you open the document and all ah huh. open the sap fi co s4 hana document ah huh. can you open the award document no you can just observe yourself see uh, in the accounts payables configurations we need to uh, configure the vendor master records as well as the business master records so without uh, configuring each and every master records in particular things and all okay we will going to have uh, some errors in sap s4 hana why because so you have to know the business partner things right uh, see the business partner means here this business partner is a natural person organization or a group with which you have a business relationship right okay you got the thing then next one here is whatever the master data that you are maintaining in the sap s4 hana for particular vendors and all that should be assigned to the particular uh, bp business partner roles okay whatever the master data that you are maintaining i mean general master data that you are maintaining for the particular uh, customers and all you should assign this master data i mean general master data to the particular bp roles okay i mean customer bp roles and all now what you need to do here see whatever the master data that we have in sap s4 hana we have two types of data one is sap uh, business partner role and the next one is sap uh, vendor co company code data business partner roles and all okay so i mean we will going to see each and everything okay now what we need to do is i will going to explain you each and everything in the sap s4 hana you can just open this thing you can just open this thing uh, remote access go to the remote access and uh, uh, what we need to do is we will going to create one account group using transaction code obt3 in the account group we will going to create each and every account group right uh, so can you go to the position and give your account group no 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 uh, go to the new entries we will going to create one account group okay so account group is pa account group is pa dv domestic vendor groups pa dv pa dv and the meaning is uh, domestic vendor group domestic vendor group see you, you will going to have the screen layout rules uh, based on the field status rules and all you will going to have general data company code data and purchasing data same like as in uh, ecc okay can you click on the enter go to the save button and save it okay click on the enter go to the save button and save it okay come back uh, yeah you can just uh, uh, create uh, one thing new entries go to the new entries okay and uh, create one international vendor group that is uh, paiv okay i will going to write on each and everything in separate notepad padv is for the domestic vendors PAIV is for the international vendor. Then next one is uh, PA1V is for the PA1V is for the one-time vendor account. Okay. Okay. Come back. Go to the new entries and give the account group as PA1V and the meaning is one-time vendor account group. One-time vendor account group. One-time vendor account group. Okay. Oh uh, yes. Can you go to the save button and uh, save it? okay so the next thing here is next thing here is we need to create uh, the number ranges using transaction code xkn1 okay can you go to the transaction code xkn1 go to the intervals go to the intervals 
uh, go to the intervals and now um, what we need to do is we will going to assign the same number range okay if you have free intervals you can just assign the uh, intervals and all okay so i mean if you don't have any intervals we will going to assign the same number ranges to the particular account groups okay so we will going to take for for domestic vendors we will use the number range as 01 for international vendors we will use the transaction uh, sorry number range 02 for one time vendor we will uh, use the uh, number range as 03 okay so this is the main important thing so if you want to create the free intervals i'm sorry if you want to create the number ranges you can just go with the free intervals there is no any issue okay now we no need to take any uh, intervals and all i mean if you are not okay with the existing in, uh, intervals and all you can just take it if you are not okay with the existing intervals you can just go to the free intervals you will going to create each and everything okay, okay. as you want based on the business requirements okay no issue uh, can you remove this thing then next one is assign this number ranges to the particular account group using transaction code obas can you go to the transaction code obas pawan and uh, go to the position and give your account group pa dv pa dv continue uh, yes you can just give pa dv is for the 01 number range domestic vendor group and 02 is for the okay then uh, pa 1v is for the 03 number range okay click on the enter go to the save button and save it we have successfully created the number ranges and all okay for the vendors but uh, we need to create the business partners uh, groups also okay why because business partner is completely assigned to the particular vendor master records and all in sap s4 hana okay you got the thing then what we need to do is so we will going to create a, a number ranges for uh, business partners okay i mean business partner master data and all can you go to the transaction code bucf can you go to the transaction code bucf okay uh, take out the intervals intervals take out the intervals whatever the intervals that you have okay we will going to take it okay otherwise if you don't have the intervals i mean uh, if the system is overlapping okay what we will do is you can just go to the free intervals we will going to take it there is no issue okay free intervals you have number uh, you have uh, different types of numbers here whatever the number range that you want you can just take it there is no any issue okay remove this thing here i am going to take 01.010203 uh, okay 010203 Okay, these are the number ranges, and give me one second. I will go into answer. Number range is for the business partner domestic vendor is for the number range zero one. Business partner international vendor is for the zero two. Business partner uh, one time vendors is for the zero three. Okay, then next step. What we need to do here is next configuration is define groupings and assign number ranges. Okay, to the particular business partners master records. can you go to the uh, sorry spro is and reference img cross application components sap business partner business partner basic settings uh, number ranges and groupings define groupings and number ranges okay now what we need to do is can you go to the new entries come on we will going to create Uh, pa dv uh we do one thing pawan can you give pb dv pb dv pb dv so pawan business partners domestic vendors okay you can just give short name as bp domestic bp uh, domestic uh, uh, bp domestic so you do one thing pawan here give short name as bp domestic pa that is pawan or else give pv then here what is the number range that you want to assign 01 is the number range can you give the 01 uh then next one the next thing is a uh, grouping is uh pb iv international vendors bp international bp international okay no issue no need to give anything international pa okay then a uh, bp yes international vendor okay give number range as 02 then next 
to the next uh, pb ob one time vendor i mean uh, business partners one time vendor remove this one time ven and give pa vendor pa okay and the bp one time vendor and the number range is 03 can you click on the enter go to the save button and save it see successfully we have defined the uh, i mean business partner master groups and all okay then then next what is the next configuration that we have so define number range assignments <clears throat> for direction bp2 vendor okay can you go to the uh, cross application and master data synchronization master data synchronization and the next one is customer or vendors integration customer or vendor integration the next one is business partner settings next one is business partner settings and the next one is the settings for vendor integration a uh, field assignments for vendor integration assign keys define number assignments for uh, direction bp2 vendor first thing yeah take out that thing and go to the new entries and first we will assign the business partners okay pa uh, i think that is pa db db and the next one is pa iv the next one is pa ov pa db why why it is not showing sorry pbdb sorry sorry pbdb hmm. pbiv then next one is uh, pbov pbov and then here uh, main our vendor groups is padv and paiv and pa1v Okay, can you click on the enter button? Uh, yes, can you go to the save button and save it? Okay, then next thing is, see, we have defined the vendor groups and we have defined the uh, customer, uh, sorry, uh, business partners, master data groups and all, and we have assigned the number ranges to each and everything. The next thing here is, we have to create the custom, uh, sorry, vendor tolerance group using transaction code OBA3. Can you give slash and go to the transaction code OBA3? OBA3. OBA3. Go to the new entries. Go to the new entries and give the uh, uh, company code and the currency. And the, uh, uh, sorry, tolerance group is, tolerance group is SHTG. Okay, good. Yes, give. Vendor tolerance group. Vendor tolerance group and give the permitted payment differences 105 percent 5 105 5 percent 5 percent 5 percent 5 5 click on the enter go to the save button and save it okay right the next thing is uh, we have to create the vendor reconciliation account right using transaction code no 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 using transaction code fs00 can you go to the transaction code fs00 uh, give me one second uh, we have to create this uh, vendor reconciliation <clears throat> Okay, then next up, what we need to do is, uh, can you go to the current liabilities? Uh, go to the OBD4 transaction code power one. Uh, take out the current liabilities, go to the continue option. Yes, uh, GL account type is a balance sheet account type. Yes, the next one, account group is a uh, current liabilities, short text is a vendor reconciliation account. Vendor reconciliation account. 
a slash c and then gl long text is a vendor reconciliation account reconciliation reconciliation account go to the control data and put this in a balances in local currencies and give the asset, uh, sorry uh, vendors reconciliation account for type is vendors come down yes short key is double zero one See, we have clearing specifications to ledger group. Whatever the group currencies that you are maintaining here in the local currencies and all, you should clear all these uh, amounts with the help of company code currencies to the ledger group currencies. OK, no issue. No need to give anything. Go to the create or bank interest. Create or bank interest. Give Z067. That is the reconciliation account. Z067. Uh, click on the enter. Go to the save button. Hmm. Balance for reconciliation account or local currency is not defined. The data contains. Okay, can you uh, remove this thing? Uh, go to control data, remove this thing. Yes, click on the enter. Hmm. Go to the save button and save it. Okay, this reconciliation vendor reconciliation account is also created. So it is a current liability. So that is why it is not taking the balances in local currencies in SAP as for HANA. Okay, can you give slash in? Okay, and then next step, what we need to do is can you take out the thing and all? Uh, no, no, no. Can you take out the word document for one? Uh, come to this. Yes, obsolete transaction codes, obsolete transaction codes in SAP S4 HANA. Obsolete, okay, or you do one thing, can you put one side ending here? Obsolete transaction codes in SAP S4 HANA. Obsolete transaction codes in SAP S4 HANA. Okay, XK01. XK01. Give me one second. I will going to give you the obsolete transaction code. Okay, no issue. If we give the obsolete. Okay, XK01 has been obsolete. And comma XD01, XK02. Okay, you can just write it for the uh, XK01, XK02. Okay, obsolete transaction codes for the particular vendor password records and all. Okay, that is the main important thing that we have. Yes, can you go to the remote access? Can you go to the remote access? And automatically, it will go into redirected to the vendor master records. Okay. If you give the XK01, automatically it will go into redirect it uh, to the particular, uh, what is the thing? Uh, BP transaction code only. Okay, we will just uh, do the things and all. No need to worry. Okay, all right. OK, right, Pawan. So what we need to do is see you can just uh, observe yourself redirect into the transaction code BP. OK, or you do one thing. Can you remove this thing, Pawan? Can you remove this thing? OK, and can you give BP? BP transaction code. Uh, click on the enter. OK, now you will going to see each and every business partners. OK, now what we need to do is can you give slash and go to the transaction code XK01 and it will be redirected to the um, BP transaction code. OK. All right, so can you take out the organization for one organization based on the organization we are taking? See so whatever you want, you can just take it person, group or organization and all. OK, we will change this uh, create BP in role. OK, can you take out the uh go up go up no no no. go up we will going to uh, take this standard one go up 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 oh, okay can you take out the triple zero business partners yes take out this thing create 
create. Okay, can you give the title Pawan? Can you give the title? Can you give the title? Okay, name. Okay, what we need to do is Pawan. So here there is a grouping is there, right? Can you remove this title? Remove this title and take out the grouping also. Here there is a grouping. Go up. Grouping is there. No, no, no. Here. Here, here. Grouping is there, right? Uh, can you take out the grouping also? Mm. That is, uh, what is the group here? We have domestic vendors, PADV. Domestic, uh, can you open this thing? Mm. Come down. Come down. You will going to find out your PADV. Oh, sorry, PBDV. Take out that. No, no, no. I think uh, this is not a business partners and all. Uh, give me one second. Okay, take out that one, Pawan. No issue. PBDV. Take out that one. PBDV. Okay, can you enter this information? It is in a red color mark. Enter this information title and name. Title is a company. And the name is. Hmm. And the name is who is the supplier? Who is the supplier here? Uh, anything you can just give. Nice. Raju exports and imports. Sorry, Raju exports. Can you just give Raju exports? Hmm. Give anything. Company code, postal codes and all. Give languages also. Give languages. Language. I think in SAP S4 HANA language is mandatory. Uh, here language. Give, give the language. No, no, no. Here language. Get a language in the English language Cisco. Mm, click on the enter. Enter. OK, go up. Go up. Mm, go up. Yes, error on the point. So you can just uh, uh, check for the consistency. Check, check. Uh, right side. Uh, check. If the document is okay, okay, is error free. Can you go to the save button and save it, Pawan? Go to the save button and save it. Okay, if the document is okay, you have to take it. A business partner 991 is created. Uh, okay, can you go to that? Uh, okay, I, I will go into. I will going to share this notepad to you also. Business partner. Uh, what is the business partner that we have? 991 is created. 991 is. Okay, can you change this to change in BP role, Pawan? Once again, change this BP role, and we will going to see the vendor master. Uh, customer data and all change in BP role. No, no, no. Here, I uh, open that thing, and here we will going to find out the F L V N double zero. Come down, F L V N double zero. That is the supplier. Okay, this is the standard things. Whatever you want, you can just take it. Okay, supplier. Yes, take out that phone. Okay, that is the main important thing. See whatever the data that we have and it has been fetched from the BP role. OK, that is the main important. See whatever the things uh, that we have created. OK, that is the main. Important. And the next one is what we need to do here. Can you go to the company code data for one? Go to the company code data. OK, can you give your company code? Can you give your company code? OK. Can you give your company code? On the enter, enter, enter. Okay, now you got the thing right. Ship is the ship business uh, crew. Uh, take out your vendor reconciliation account 
and go to the vendor payment transaction or uh, sort key. Ah, uh, take out the sort key, no issue. Take out the sort key. Go up. Take out the sort key. Double zero one. Double zero one. Posting date, no issue. Okay, or else take out the zero one two number, no issue. Vendor number. Okay, good. Can you come down? Come down, Pawn. Go up, go up, go up. Mm, yes, can you give authorization group? No, no, no. We don't have any authorizations. Right? Go up, no issue. Go up. Okay, why it is showing the error? We do have any mandatory field. Do we have any mandatory? Do we have any mandatory field? Okay, can you remove this thing? Remove this thing, Pawn. Go up. Up, up. Ship is the vendor is the internal. Can you take out the vendor payment transaction? Take out the vendor payment transaction. Okay, give the payment terms. Triple zero one. Or else uh, go to the drop down option. We will go into see. Triple zero one, and can you come down and give the tolerance group? Mm, take out the tolerance group. Okay, I think we have done with this thing. Okay, right. Go up. Okay, why the system is showing an error? Uh, can you take out the thing? And can you give the withhold in tax uh, country? Yes, give the withhold in tax country. It is in a required field. No issue. Mm, go to the continue option. Yes. Can you go up? Click on the enter. Go up. Enter. Okay. Now it is fine, right? I think so. And there is no any uh, vendors, uh, groups, and all. I think so. I think payment terms, transactions we have given. Okay. Or else we do one thing. Can you go to the save button and save it? Power. Go to the save button and save it. Okay, we will going to create our and our master records using business partners. Okay, our business partner is you can just observe 991 Raju exports and imports. You got the thing. Our business partner main number is you can just observe double nine nine two triple zero double zero two. Okay. Now, can you give slash and power? So this is how we can. Uh, uh, create vendor master records and all. Can you go to the transaction code XD02 slash and XD02? So change vendor master records and all. You will going to see it. XK02, sorry. XK02. Okay, now same thing. Can you give uh, 991? No, no, no. Go up. No, no. Go to that uh, transaction. Uh, sorry, uh, that uh, drop down option. Okay, give your company code. Yes. Okay, now you can take out that thing. 1906 is the vendor. Okay, can you uh, take out the payment transaction or anything? Company code payment transactions and uh, click on the enter. No issue. Click on the enter. Click on the enter. Okay, now you got the thing right. Whatever the things that you want to take care, you can just take care of it. There is no any issue. Okay, that is the main important thing. Raju exports and imports. If you want to go to the company code data, you can just uh, go to the company code data. Whatever the changes that you want to make, you can just make it. There is no any issue. Okay. Okay, right. Can you give slash and power? Give slash and. Okay, this is about how we can uh, uh, do the. Uh, sorry, how we can configure the business partner master data and vendor uh, master records and all. That is main important thing. In the next session, you will going to see how we can post the vendor uh, payments, how we can clear the vendor payments using transaction code IFB60 and AF-53. Okay, that is the main important thing.